Hey Tigers, it's good to see you again. Halloween's coming up, so I'm getting some candy out of the way for the trick-or-treaters, but I couldn't help but snag a few pieces myself. I wonder though, what number would represent the change in candy after I ate a few pieces, or more than a few? <laughs> That's uh, It's actually connected to today's topic. It's all about positive and negative integers. We're going to be talking about the increase or decrease in, uh, in anything, really. Uh, you could represent a change in something using integers, either positive integers or negative integers. So let's dive right into it. We actually see here that on the number line, we have positive integers and negative integers. We talked about that in the last lesson. Positive integers go to the right of a number line. Negative integers go down to the left of a number line. And zero is always in the middle here. Okay. Positive integers are represented with a positive sign, but not always. Negative integers, on the other hand, are always represented with a negative sign. Now, negative integers can represent a decrease in something, and positive integers can represent an increase in something. We actually see some examples of words here that you might see on a word problem, okay? So when we tackle these word problems in our next upcoming quizzes, you might see these words, and they should be hints or keys that you should recognize, wait a minute, they're talking about a positive integer, or hey, they're talking about a negative integer. Let's take a look here. Some examples of words that could hint at a negative uh, integer being used, such as loss, a decrease, something being less now, uh, you're having fewer of something, or something is getting smaller. That would all point to the idea that the number is going down. It is gradually decreasing. So we use the um, negative integers here to represent that. On the other side, we have positive integers. Now, words that could describe something being a positive integer would be something like gain, increase, something you're getting more of something, uh, something is becoming greater, or something is getting bigger. You could also go with taller. Uh, with negative, it would be getting shorter. So there's lots of words here that you could use to describe a change in something, something gradually increasing or decreasing. What are about some examples of in integers that you could use in real life? Well, there's plenty of uh, examples. The most common one, though, you're going to find is with money. Uh, money, you're using transactions. You're always buying or selling something. And what happens is you often you get money and you lose money. You When you get money, the money that you have increases. And when you lose money, either you you know you buy something, you give your money away, and that the money you have decreases. Uh, really good examples are deposits and withdrawals. A deposit, in monetary terms, a deposit is when you get money. So if I have a check for fifty dollars and I put that check in the bank, my bank increases. My bank account increases by fifty dollars. So that is a positive integer. So I could ask myself, what integer would represent me depositing fifty dollars? The answer would be plus fifty. Plus fifty because it is a positive change. Now on the flip side, let's say um, we are going to Disneyland and I'm in the gift shop of Disneyland and I see a big Mickey Mouse hat and I really want it but I don't have any cash on me. I have to go run to the ATM, swipe my card, and I take out $50. That is called a withdrawal. Now, if I withdraw 40, no, $50, let's say $50. If I withdraw $50 from my bank account, what's going to happen to the money in my bank account? It's going to go down. That is a negative change. I am losing money. The money I have is decreasing. I now have less money, fewer dollars. My bank account is smaller. So this is a negative loss. What number would represent a withdrawal of $50? Negative 50, not positive 50, negative 50, because my money just went down. Another example would be sea level. We talked about this in our last lesson. Um, oceanographers and other uh, ocean scientists, they use the term sea level to describe the elevation of the earth relative to the surface of the ocean. If the surface of the ocean is zero, then everything flying above the ocean is a positive number. 
What do you think would represent everything swimming below the ocean? Below is a good keyword here. Well, that would be a negative number. You can see here, all the numbers below sea level would be represented with negative numbers, okay? So if you have a submarine, you're swimming around uh, under the sea, under the sea, that's a good keyword, that would be a negative integer. So what integer would represent a, uh, a, a shark swimming at 50 feet below sea level? Well, negative 50 feet. Another good example would be temperature. You probably hear about temperature all the time. Hey, you know, you start out the morning, it's really, really, really cold, but as you progress through the day, the temperature increases. So you wake up and the temperature is 45 degrees. And by time it reaches noon, uh, the temperature is 55 degrees. What integer would represent the change in temperature from the morning to noon? Well, we have to think. The morning temperature was 45 degrees. The afternoon temperature was 55 degrees. What's the difference between the two? 10 degrees. 10 degrees, is that a positive change or a negative change? Did the temperature increase or did the temperature decrease? So are we going to say negative 10 or positive 10? Positive 10 degrees, very good. We're gonna say positive 10 degrees because the temperature increased. Airplanes, that's another really good example. Airplanes will fly up and they will fly down. So what integer would represent uh, an airplane that climbs in elevation to 30,000 feet? Well, the airplane is flying up, it is climbing, so it's flying up into the sky that sounds like a positive increase in height to me. So, 30,000 feet, it would be positive 30,000 feet, okay? Gains, and that's another really good one, maybe something like football. You can gain uh, points or you can lose points. If your favorite football team gained points, that would be a positive increase. If they lost points, that would be a negative increase, and those points would go down the number line. Last one would be mountain climbing. That's another really good one. Mountains have the base of a mountain and you have the top of a mountain. And everything in between, you can either go up a mountain or you can also go down a mountain. So if our friend Sarah is at the top of Mount Everest and she begins her descent down to the base of the mountain and by on day one, she travels um, 150 feet down the mountain. What integer would represent her journey from the top to the bottom? Negative 150 feet. Negative because she is climbing down the mountain. So it would be negative 150 feet. Okay. So there's lots of really good examples that we would be using in real life terms. We're going to be seeing some more examples in your homework and your other assignments here today. Study hard. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me with email or GoGuardian. Uh, good luck, guys. Have fun.